I am Kim Dubi, founder and CEO of Blue Things Academy. So what we're going to be talking about is seven rules every ICT trader must know. Now, every of these rules is just like the summary of everything ICT has been doing on YouTube. So these are the key points you must understand in ICT concept, what you must do and what you mustn't do to make your trading or to make your learning curve even faster because we all know I still spent long time on these videos and it could be very boring so rule number one the direction of the market is key now when I say the direction of the market is key is every strategy consists of what of certain criteria has to be met that determines the direction of the market now ICT himself does not trade market structure kind of higher high higher low kind of methodology he uses internal liquidity to external liquidity ranges so he uses this to determine the direction of the market so you must be able to be swift in understanding how the market moves the narrative why it has to move from this point to the other point what i what i would advise traders do that's coming up is for every time you're on the daily time frame on the weekly time frame you want to ask yourself where is price right now and where is price coming from and where is price going to this is going to enable you to define the market direction so this is the first thing every IC trader must do understand markets understand the market direction understand daily bias understand how to create the narrative number two PDRAs are these are special levels on the market now what i mean that your special levels when you have determined a certain direction the market is going to go let's assume price is supposed to go from point a to point b now there's there are areas in the market that are high where, where high trading volume is where the banks are placing their orders they are also called pdras example we have the fair value gap we have the other blocks we have the inverted fair value gaps we have liquidity sweeps we have sell side liquidity sweep buy side liquidity sweeps we have breakers and the rest of them now all of these PDRAs are high volume areas whereby you can place orders or areas where you can look to trade in your desired direction after understanding the narrative of the market number three entry models are for entries only now a lot of mistakes IC traders make is go watch the ICT 22 model watch the silver bullet model and just go on this lower time frames and try to implement it 90 times 90 percent of the time you are going to lose money doing that because you don't trade those entries that way you trade those entries when you have understood the direction the market is facing and you understand the PDRs you want to trade from now if you are anticipating the market to go lower you want to trade from premium PDRs PDRs that are above 50% of the swing okay for a bearish market and for a bullish market you want to trade with discount PD arrays now inside this premium or discount PD arrays you can go into the lower time frame and monitor what kind of entry model is cooking in every trader must have their own special entry model that entry model that they wait they, they need to wait because that's more like your your criteria to get involved with any narrative the market is showing you so when it forms inside that same marked pd array box from the lower time frame you want to execute after everything is formed here you can hear the silver bullets working perfectly you can see them and the ic 22 model which is the most popular work perfectly but on their own they would have an incredible low win rate so you should know that entry points or entry models are entry models and only have to be used after the narrative has been defined. Now, the ICT Q zones are high probability times in the market. Now, what, what this means is there are certain times in the market when these markets are most likely going to move in your desired direction if you are correct on what's on your bias for the day. Now, there are other times in the market where price will just consolidate and not do anything seriously. So one hour before the london session and an extra three hours inside the london session is what we call the ict london q zone and one hour before the new york session plus extra three hours into the new york session is what we call the um the 
I still need your kill zone. So if you are staying in Nigeria or in Africa, in West Africa, you understand that the London 11 a.m. in the morning and the New York kill zone starts by 12 p.m. and ends 4 p.m. in exactly the time, high probability times you can trade this IC. Number five. Red folder names like NFP, FOMC, and CPI are manually distributed. Now, what this means is that IC has has made us understand that the market operates on an algorithm. Okay, so what this means is that the market is programmed to do certain points to seek certain areas in the market and deliver to certain areas, and it's all programs. So the thing is this: on NFP, FOMC, and CPI, he teaches that these days prices are manually distributed what happens is in most cases your model your entry model your narrative might just go haywire so what you should do is to avoid this trade there are three different days that occurs every single month nfp you know first fridays of the month cpi is around 12 13th or, or sometimes 10th of every month and fomc is a bit kind of random but they occur every single month and you don't want to be found trading this high volatility news because it will most likely blow your account. News drivers help the market volatility. Now what are news drivers? We have the unemployment rates, we have the ISM, we have the PMI, all of these high impact news that are always around the New York or the New York Q zone for the USD pairs and indices. So this Red folder news should not be avoided because they aid the setups to go in the desired direction. So now, if for example you're bullish on a certain day, you might not get the desired setup of volatility you want in the London session because in the New York session there's unemployment claims waiting. Okay, so this news is just waiting to be released, and when it's released, the market will definitely go bullish as expected. So these news drivers. Uh, these are part of what ICD looks for before trading. He wants to make sure there is, is, a, is a day that matches with a high, you know, probability day on an economic calendar. Mondays and Fridays are most likely going to be low probability days. Why? Because Monday creates the high of the open of the weekly candle in most cases, and Friday creates the close of the weekly candle in most cases. So on these days, there is going to be some. So the Monday tries to do that swing on the weekly candle and then the, on the Friday we are expecting the close. Now this can be very dicey and confusing and also have low um, low volume on this day. So it's best you try to trade Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday but I'm not saying you should scrap Monday and Friday from your trading. Instead go do some studies, some journaling, some back tests to know what suits your style of trading and what doesn't suit your style of trading. If you found this video helpful, click the like button and subscribe to the channel. I make educational videos like this on YouTube back to back and follow us on Twitter for psychology tips on Forex every single day. Peace out guys.